Hey folks, following up on my previous video about the seven, the Panasonic G7 versus the A6300 and following up on my video I just did about why I'm interested in getting a Canon for some of my video work because of the dual pixel AF. Got a question here in the comments from Video Photo SMX. I was ready to buy a Panasonic G7, but now I have more doubts. Panasonic has more technology, but when it is time to follow focus, it seems that the Canon dual pixel AF is the option. Now I may buy a new 70D body on sale in Amazon for 730. So he's saying he's seen them on sale there. He's got a link. I'll put that uh, below. You can check out what the price is. Good question. And thank you for your question. Um, as I've mentioned, I'm kind of chosen to go with the best of both worlds. I'm going to get the 70D and I'm going to keep my G7. And I'm actually probably going to uh, get myself my own FZ300. Uh, and I may get, well, I'm definitely going to get it when in the test, but the new Nikon DL cameras all have 4K, but that's another video altogether. Um, so best of both worlds for me is the G7 for 4K and great lens options and shallow depth of field and whatnot. And then the 70D when I need something that will follow me around for dual pixel AF, although I just will be limited to 1080. So the big question here is that the crux of your question is what's more important or what should be the more important deciding factor when you're buying between a, a G7 and a 70D is the dual pixel AF allowing you to do follow focus in, uh, in video that's smooth and allows you to pull focus. Is that more important at the loss of 4K or is the 4K video more important at the loss of the dual pixel AF? Because uh, the G7 is not bad. It's, it's pretty decent for following you around, but it's not as smooth as a dual pixel AF system in the 70D. This can only really be dictated by yourself and your demands, what type of video work you're doing, what you need it for, what your needs are, the needs of the project, the needs of the video shooting. Um, I don't need it for this situation. You know, if mostly you're just gonna be like vlogging and sitting there, probably don't need the 70D, probably go G7. If you're gonna be doing something where you want the camera to follow you because you can set it up on a tripod and you wanna show people stuff so you want it to be able to follow you because you don't have a crew. Um, if you're doing some type of show where you're moving around, even say in the kitchen or something like that and you need it to follow what you're doing, the 70D is the way to go. You're gonna sacrifice 4K, but 1080 is still okay for, for the bulk of what your needs are online right now. 4K is great, uh, I love it, but it's not a necessity. Um, definitely in a situation like that, you're gonna prefer, where you need something with the dual pixel AF. That's more important than the 4K. So uh, that's my answer. It depends what your needs are. If you're not really moving around a lot in videos and don't need the camera to be able to do the tracking on you, then go G7 it, because you get the advantages of, of a lot of things, not just the 4K. If you are doing videos where it's important for the camera to track you automatically with autofocus smoothly and you like the ability to pull focus just with the touch screen, which is really cool, then go with the 70D because that's really the only game out there is the Canon system, Canon 70D, Canon 80D, the 1DX Mark II is going to have it, and probably the 5D Mark IV or 5DX, whatever they're going to call that thing. Uh, so there you go. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me on why... To choose either one, leave your comments below and explain yourself a bit. And uh, thanks for your question. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.